Welcome to Christina's Kitchen. I'm Christina McFeeders. There are many different types of beans. Beans are in the legume family and you can find them at most grocery stores. You can find canned beans. You can also find a variety of dry beans. I have a pinto beans here, uh, black beans, garbanzo beans, which is also known as chickpeas, and we have lentils. Over here in this crock pot, we have sprouted pinto beans. And uh, the sprouted pinto beans, these are not cooked yet. We'll talk about the cooking in a minute. But the reason we sprout is for two things. One is when you sprout them, it makes them much easier to digest. Also, sprouting increases the nutritional properties uh, that are locked up inside the dry bean. And so you actually get more nutrition it increases the flavor. You have a lot more flavor in a sprouted bean, plus easier digestion. So we're gonna talk about how to sprout beans. Uh, you take your pinto beans, put them into a bowl, and you'll notice my bowl is significantly larger than the amount of beans I have. And you will want to cover it with water. And you wanna put about double the amount of water at least of the beans in there. Because as these beans soak, they're gonna absorb the water and they will grow. During your 24 to 48 hours of sprouting, you wanna be very careful to rinse your beans every 12 hours. This helps to rinse the bacteria off them and also keeps them moist so that they will continue their sprouting process. So I'm just gonna give you a brief uh, look at rinsing the beans. We're gonna fill up the bowl with water. Stir them around a little bit. And then dump them out. Now our beans are done sprouting. Uh, we have put them in our crock pot and we're ready to cook them. I love crock pot cooking because it doesn't require stirring on the stove and you don't have to worry about things burning. You wanna add water to your beans until it's about two inches above the top of your beans. Then you put your lid on and turn your crock pot on and cook it overnight. After you've cooked it overnight, you add your seasonings, your salts, and whatever else you wanna put in and make your amazing food. If you want to see my recipe for crock pot chili, you can go to my website, christinaskitchen.org. See how simple and easy this is? It's so delicious, full of fiber and healthy protein. Be sure and try this at home.